Time-sensitive networking is expected to revolutionize network infrastructure of critical systems in the coming years thanks to three key features defined in the standards. All devices are synchronized in the range of nanoseconds. This means they have a common sense of time. Time slots are reserved for different types of traffic, hard, soft and best effort. At last, an additional bandwidth limitation based in traffic priorities is supported. In order to test the implementation of these key elements, Relium has launched Relight TSN Kit, which is composed by an evaluation board which embeds a TSN endpoint plus a TSN switch, a PCIe card also containing a TSN endpoint and a TSN switch, and a Lubuntu Live ISO image pre-configured and loaded with the TSN demo. The evaluation board TSN endpoint acts as a talker and runs the demo test. Additionally, it includes a traffic generator to perform congestion scenarios. The TSN talker and the traffic generator are both internally connected to a TSN switch, which has been designed with four TSN external ports. TSN PCIe card and its host PC will act as listeners. TSN endpoint is also in this case connected to a switch with two external ports. In order to transform ordinary traffic coming from the host to TSN traffic, there is an adapter before entering the switch. Valuation board and PCIe card have to be connected between them as shown in the image to properly run the demo. Finally, the kit includes a Lubuntu Live image prepared to run in the host PC and pre-configured to execute the TSN demo without having to install any specific software in the equipment. Before starting with the tests, follow the instructions of Relium TSN Demo Kit User Guide. In a time-sensitive network, all devices need to have a common timed reference synchronized in the nanosecond range, and therefore, they need to synchronize their clocks among them. In the web browser, click on Time Synchronization Test button. First, launch the traffic generator. It has been configured to 10% of the maximum bitrate, that is 100 megabits per second for a 1000 megabits per second link. This traffic will be transmitted with priority 6. Click on Enable TAS in Device 0 button to launch the Time Aware Shaper in the Evaluation Board. The configuration set will define a 20 milliseconds transmission cycle divided in four time slots. One of those slots will be reserved for Priority 6 traffic, the one the traffic generator sends. As a result, traffic bandwidth decreases significantly as it can be seen in IO graph. Click on Enable TAS in Device 1 button to launch the Time Aware Shaper in the PCIe card. The configuration set also defines a 20 millisecond cycle divided in 4 slots and reserves one slot to priority 6. However, as there is no synchronization between the PCIe card and the evaluation board, transmission cycles of both devices are displaced in time. Some packets are not received during the correct time slot, and they are dropped resulting in an additional bandwidth reduction. Now, click on Enable IEEE 802.1 AES button to enable synchronization in both devices. After some seconds, the transmission cycles in both devices will start simultaneously and traffic bandwidth will recover to the previous level. This test shows how a conventional Ethernet network is affected in a congestion situation. Click on Negative Tests button. See video streams will automatically start. These videos are generated in the evaluation board, Talker, and reproduced without problems in the PCIe card, Listener. Click on the Start Frame Generator button to start transmitting noise traffic in the same network link. Traffic Generator has been configured to send congestion traffic at 1000 megabits per second, the maximum bitrate of the link. This traffic has a higher priority than the video traffic. As a result, video transmission is delayed and the video playback is affected. IEEE 802.1QBV Time Aware Scheduler allows defining the number of time slots available in each repeating cycle, their duration, and which priority queues are allowed to transmit. Thanks to this operation mode, the scheduler traffic has dedicated time slots to ensure the expected deterministic behavior. The best effort traffic is accommodated in the remaining time slots of each cycle operation. In this test, 
BD1 has priority 2, while BD2 has a priority 5. When Time Aware Shaper is activated, a cycle window with 4 slots is configured. A dedicated time slot is reserved only for priority 2 traffic. The rest of the traffic says another time slot. A third slot is reserved to the demo traffic, and the last slot remains free of traffic for the better performance of the demo. Click on the Start Frame Generator button to create a high load situation. Congestion traffic is then transmitted at 1000 megabits per second. Wireshark shows how priority 2 traffic can be transmitted in the dedicated slot, while the priority 5 traffic and the priority 6 traffic share the same slot. As a result, Video 2 freezes due to the bitrate of the congestion traffic. IEEE 802.1QAV allows the definition of the maximum fraction of the bandwidth that is available to a determined queue. Following with the previous test situation, the credit base shaper will help to limit the bandwidth used by the noise traffic in the slot. Click on Enable Credit Base Saper to limit Priority 6 traffic, that is, load traffic at 20% of the bandwidth of the corresponding slot. Then, click on Start Frame Generator to transmit a Priority 6 load traffic with 1000 megabits per second bitrate. That would fill the assigned slot with 250 megabits per second bandwidth. Both videos are still displaying correctly. Without Credit Base Saper feature, the load traffic would cause a congestion situation and would block the video 2 playback, as in the previous test. Wireshark shows how effectively the load traffic has been reduced to the 20% of the bandwidth of the slot, that is, to 50 megabits per second. It also shows how the video streams are received without any delay.